Okay, so here's the look. We got like pasty knees or socks, black tights, shirt. That is a skirt. A thrifted shirt. Got my makeup and my cute earrings and I'm ready. Check-in started at 4. They didn't start t checking us in until after 4.45, which was a little annoying because it was cold and it was starting to rain, but then we got in by like 5.10, so it wasn't that bad. So we walk in, we're like, grab a carpet square and sit down. <laughs> we're like, carpet squares? Carpet squares? <laughs> so like... They had us sit on carpet squares like we're in preschool and honestly it was so cute. Like it was in front of the backdrop where the boys would be playing the songs. We thought that was a nice added touch. It's like you could tell they just really care. And so they played the three songs. They played Sula, Tuesday, and Boyish. And oh it was so good. It was so good. Like, they walked out and Jake was like shaking the tambourine and then they all sat down and they all started playing. And then Nathan was like, wait. And he, he was like, I put my hair up. <laughs> that was funny. And they played all the songs and oh my god, it was gorgeous. But it was kind of dark in there. I had my phone and I just like hit the record button. The songs were gorgeous. I was blown away. I wanted them to keep going on forever. I wanted more. I was so when, once they did that, that was, and then it meant it was time for the meet and greet photos. And so I had drawn like big drawing and printed that out and I was going to give it to them at the photos. And so I was very excited and very nervous. Like I've been nervous in meet and greets before, but I don't remember being this nervous in a while. Also, it's been like more than a year since I've been to a meet and greet. So basically, it was really fast. It was a really fast meet and greet. Like you'll see, the vi the video my mom took is not even a minute long. So, photo in and then out. And like that's kind of a drag. Like if you came in with like a group, you all had to take the photo at once. I think what they were saying is like, okay, you can't take an individual photo and a group photo. So, if that makes any sense. And honestly, it went really good. Like. I mean, they they weren't gonna like spit in my face and tell me, oh man, this artwork sucks, cause like it doesn't, and they're very appreciative and very nice. I drew them art. They're not gonna be rude about it. They were really excited and they were like, oh man, this is so cool. It made me so happy. It it all went really smooth. I didn't say anything stupid, and if I did, you can't hear me in the video, so it's not bad. Um, Zach recognized the photo. He's like, oh, it's the knife photo, it's the, it's the knife photo. And like, he really liked that. And I'm like, thank you for recognizing it. And he showed it to Jake. He's like, do you remember this? And he's like, yeah. Like, ah. I also printed out a mini version of this drawing I did for him. Back, or like I did back in, it's technically November, it, of his Halloween costume because it was just that good I had to. So that was great. such a nice experience and like they let us stay inside the venue like they didn't make us go outside after the meet and greet like we so, so we just chilled the whole time and like 
the venue had like this nice upstairs area and they had like couches so we like sat on the couches and it was nice and we got access to the merch which i have some of it oh also like when i was walking up away from the the meet and greet thing and the guy who was giving us the postcards and the pins he was like standing with the big box and like handing them out to everyone who's done taking the photo he was like what you did was really cool Get, making the guys the artwork like they really appreciate it i was just like oh my god everybody's thanking me i feel so appreciated and loved so that was great Anybody that leverages you for their own self gain, like, fuck them. I'm just talking now. I'm just talking now. They, part of the package or the VIP thing was like, you got the meet and greet, you got the photo, got the three songs, and you got early access into the venue, a general admission ticket, and then pins and postcards. One of them was signed, so this is the signed one. So I think that one's Jake's. That's probably Zach's, like, Espo, but Spo. Um, DiCarlo, I, I'm going to guess Whistler, and then Nathan. That doesn't look like Nathan. Like, that looks like an A and an N. Anthon. <laughs> My favorite member of the book camp is Anthon. <laughs> so, that's one of them. They're actual postcards, and that, I think that's really cute. And then here's another one. There were four total. And then a Bambi one. The colors are a bit more muted. And this one's cute. It's like cover of Bambi. Bambis. And there is this one. It's like the design that's on one of the pins and on Whistler's kick drum. You know, the one with the circle. <laughs> that's really big, I'm sorry. So yeah, that was, those are the postcards. They're really cute. And here are the pins, which are honestly really cute. So this one is my favorite. I, like of all the symbols that they have on the Bambi cover, that one is my favorite. Here's our other one. And then the one that is on the postcard and on Whistler's drum. So this is like the new logo thing or for the Bambi era, I don't know. Okay, and then this is like the bag that came in. I know, how interesting. Wow, we stand one bag. <laughs> we also got early access to go get merch. The last leg of the Bambi tour, I had seen pictures of the poster. I'm like, I need to get me one. And then I heard that they had signed versions. I'm like, mm hmm, I need to get me one of those ones. So I did. Um, I don't think unfolding it right now is going to show you it that that much. Actually, no, I think that worked. So, uh, like, uh, Whistler said it at the top. <laughs> I love that. Um, Zach, Jake, 
Monte Carlo and the process of elimination, that must be Nathan. <laughs> wow, I love this. It's cardstock, which is kind of unexpected and it looks like it was like, you know, like screen printed. Like you can like feel it, it's not just one solid thing. It looked cool on my wall, I'm gonna frame it. And then I also got a shirt. It's, I think it's, it, it's a golden shirt. It's quite thin, as you can see, but it says, living for the past, because the future is gone. Okay, Zach, so you wanna go home? I should've just said it, but she was getting mad at the Anyways, um, so it's got the dandy symbols, and then it's got the lyrics for Golden, which is my favorite song off of Bambi. It's got the logo on the inside. I love when they do that. I was like, that's so cute. Also, do you like it? It's a pun. It says Cal Poly, like Cal Poly, the the um, college in California. And then all the past, cause the fix is gone. Brain in the dark, she won't go on. I should have said it better. I should have said fine to a little. A foreign fire roll. Playing in the dark, we'll be bowing on. It all makes sense in the center. All makes sense, what's center? It's a blessing to be up here with my uh, four best friends. It's really incredible. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us, man. Thank you.
blast. Yeah. Hope you are too. Yes. Um, Take away everything I also got the set list. I can't even believe I did that. I don't know how I did that. Um, like they were throwing the set list out, out, out at the crowd after the show, and I think they one of the guy like someone dropped it, and then the security guard it was like right next to us, and it dropped like on his side of the barricade so he had to grab it so I stuck my hand out as far as I could and mine was the farthest out there so he handed it to me first and so here I am with a set list I wasn't rude I didn't like push anyone or like I don't know grab it out of people's hands because I'm not a savage I understand what it's like to get one of these and I wouldn't want to steal it so they played 
everything except Chapstick off of here. They played Golden Second, which is like, mm, yes, thank you. They played Baseball. Okay, Baseball is one of my favorite hippo songs. It's just so, Baseball is just so good. Like, do, 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 like, it's not so good. So, I was losing it when they played Baseball. That was really nice. Um, other songs I really like, um, I really like Vines. Vines isn't on here. They changed the set, so they did change the set list. There wasn't Vines, there wasn't Vacation. On the other set list, there wasn't Monsoon, but this one had Monsoon, so I wasn't emotionally ready for that one. So I, I was like, are they playing Monsoon? I'm like, hmm. Like, and then, like, I was like, this sounds like Monsoon, but they said they weren't playing Monsoon. Are they pranking us? Like, they wouldn't do that. Glad they did, because Monsoon Live at the Landmark Center is, in my opinion, the best version of Monsoon. And seeing it live was as close as I can get to experiencing that. So, I was happy. Let me just read the set list. So, it's Bambi, Golden, Way It Goes, Baseball, Doubt, Honestly, Warm Glow, Monsoon, South, Simple Season, Chapstick, which they didn't play, No Pomegranates, Why Even Try, Think It Over, Bubbles, Suicide Saturday, and Violet, and then Space for the Encore, which was Buttercup. So, they played all of those songs, except Chapstick. I'm not going to say that anymore. You get the idea. I started to get a bit tired of South, like, a couple months ago. Like, I had seen so many of Nathan's solo in South, I'm like, mm-hmm, I get it, I know what you do now. And so, like, I'd start to skip them. So I'm like, yeah, that's great. And then everybody in the Hippocampus Discord would die for Warm Glow, the song. And I agree with them, but I wouldn't die for it as much as they would. And so they played it, and I- it was so much better than I thought it would be. It was absolutely magical. I was, I'm sorry for ever doubting Warm Glow, you guys were right, and I was wrong. So Warm Glow has a nice place in my heart now, I appreciate her, we love her, she is beautiful. That was, like, I don't usually describe concerts as magical, but this one was magical, yeah, I think it was. Warm Glow is magical, South is magical, like, it was... Like, it was just a transformative experience. It just, like, revived the love I had for those songs that had just kind of maybe withered away a little bit. So that was great. They became ten times more special now because, like, oh my god, I saw them. So I saw them with my own two, two eyes. I saw those. I heard them. Oh, also, I didn't mention, we were in the front row. We were on the barricade because we had early entry into the venue. Um, and... That was amazing. I didn't even think we could get the barricade. I was thinking like, oh yeah, maybe like a couple people behind the barricade. Like that's the closest I've ever gotten to some shows, with one exception. That wasn't this one. Um, so I was I was gonna be fine, which is like a row or two away from the barricade. But we got the barricade. And it wasn't like we moved up at all. We were from, we were in the barricade before any of the before now and our hippocampus went on so that was fantastic i think oh, it was just great one of the best concerts i've ever been to and i've been to like this was my 11th concert hearing no pomegranates was an experience i was like yes nathan you do that you you sing you yell <laughs> you do it all also watching nathan in person is insane he's just like and my mom thought it was so funny and because it is like he just does that and it's like <laughs> i love it he's so interesting to watch so like they played why even try think it over in bubbles in the order that they were i'm like yes this is just how it's supposed to be can I just hear Bambi in its entirety, please and thanks? That was my first indie concert. There was no like mosh pit or like any crowd surfers that I could tell I was that I was aware of. I didn't I mean I didn't see any. I had so much fun. 
and I, I've been excited for this since, like, August, when we bought the tickets. We first bought general admission tickets for the balcony, and then, like, after Bambi came, I'm like, we need to, we need to be good boys. So then we bought VIP tickets, and then my dad and my sister used our general admission ones, and so they went too. My sister's nine. This is her first concert, which I'd say is a pretty good concert for a first concert. More exciting than Owl City. They were so, they're so good, so talented for how young they are. And I'm just so glad that I can see these things and experience these things and just like have such a passion and appreciation and love for like music. Like it's so cool that I'm able to do this. And so I want to share this with everybody else because I know not everybody can go even see Hippocampus or meet them or stay after the shows and meet the band members. I've never been able to do that, by the way. I always pay. And I hope everybody can experience at least some of the joy that I felt during this concert. Okay. Bye.